Hey, everybody. Jacob here, host of Verify and Field, the Millwork podcast. And I am also here to give you some AutoCAD tips today. But before we jump into that, I wanted to invite you to check out our podcast. It's available here on YouTube. You can go here on our channel to the podcast tab and listen and watch it there. It's also available on all the major platforms, Apple Podcasts, Spotify. And if you like the content that we share here, it really helps if you give us a thumbs up and go ahead and hit subscribe so you get notified for any new content as soon as it comes out. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this video. Today, we're showing a little bit about a little known tool that is available in AutoCAD called temporary tracking. And with this, you can use it in conjunction with many other tools to, to help your workflow. Today, I want to show you the temporary tracking tool using temporary tracking tools or TK for a short. For example, I want to make a rectangle in a specific location. And to do this, you can type TK and press enter. And to start, you're going to put in your first tracking point. For example, I'm using this corner and you can specify the dimension, which right now it's on auto tracking by default. So I'm just moving the cursor in the direction, and then I'm typing in the distance that I want. Press enter, and you can continue to enter different distances many times. So now I'm gonna go over an X. When you finish, press enter for the next corner. Now I'm gonna make the same entry, typing TK to start. And then I'm gonna put in my first tracking point my reference point, which is this point. And then I'm going to go track in the distance in Y and type a distance and track in X and type a distance and press enter. And when you finish, you can verify, did it do what you wanted? So for example, I'm going to check these measurements. Are they 10 and X, 10 and Y? And here the same 10 and X and 10 and Y. And so I'm verifying that, yep, I did get those corners, the correct distances. Say now we want to draw a circle and we can pick our first point based off of starting with TK tools. So I'm going to type TK and then track over X and then down to the center point, specific distance. And now I can put the radius of my circle. So I verified that center point was where I wanted it to be. Now, maybe if you want to copy it, I want to copy this circle and I'm going to use TK for temporary tracking to copy from my base point, a set distance from the edge and from where I started. So I'm going to, again, I can type in two dimensions from my reference point and I can here verify that it worked. So another example is I need to stretch this wall. For example, from this column, I want to be a set distance. So I'm going to use stretch first, and then I'm going to click my reference point. And then now I'm going to initiate the temporary tracking and I'm going to or ortho track over a set distance from the column that I want it to be. And so now that reference point I clicked on initially is that distance that I use the TK tools to offset from this column. So it's very fast and easy to use once you get used to it in the prompts. So if you just type TK without a command, uh, it doesn't exist unless you have a tool active. So you have to have something active like a line, a polyline, a circle to be able to use the temporary tracking command.